everybody, and welcome to this episode of Wonder Ventures, where we try to figure out the wonders all around. And how are you today? I am fantastic, except I ran into some trouble earlier today while I was trying to carry some boxes. And oof. <laughs> uh, well, once I picked up the boxes, of course, I started wondering. Hmm. Before we get started, here is a quick message for teachers, parents, and you. Be sure to stop the videos often to give yourself time to think, discuss, share, and think some more. Feel free to stop and rewind the videos as often as possible. Also, be sure to check out EZSTEM.com for more teaching and learning ideas for this wonder venture. Well, <laughs> I was trying to carry this large tower of boxes and it just wasn't easy. And it got me thinking, how could I do this in a better way? Do you have any ideas? Yes, you're right. I could carry the boxes one at a time, but that would take me so long to get from here to there. Hmm. And that's a good idea about trying to stack the boxes better to keep them balanced. That might work for sure. Well, when you mentioned the word balance, it got me thinking about yoga. I've been exercising lately and I love doing yoga. It is so relaxing and it reminds me to breathe in through the nose and let the air out through the mouth. It helps calm my nerves and helps me focus when I'm thinking. But even though I love yoga, I do have some challenges, especially with some of the poses, like tree pose. Wait a minute. How is holding tree pose in yoga similar to the Tower of Boxes? Da, da, da. Could it be balance? Yeah. I think it's balance. Once I start wondering about something, I see it everywhere around me, like uh, when I was carrying dishes to the table. Or I even noticed this really cool rock sculpture made by one of my neighbors. They balanced these rocks. It's pretty cool. Where do you see evidence of balance in your world? Can you think of some examples? <laughs> Yeah, I think balance is important in a lot of things. Okay, it's time for us to try an interactive challenge. Can you balance a pencil on your finger? All you're going to need is a pencil and a finger. And then take some time to see if you can figure out how to do this. We'll come back and check with each other. If you're like me, you probably found that it was difficult to balance the pencil when it was standing upright on your finger. Ah, but you may have found that if you placed your pencil like this across your finger. Ah, oh, come on. You were able to balance it. Ha ha, yes. In my balanced pencil, I needed to find the exact location so that it would balance across my finger. And then I noticed something. I noticed that there was more pencil sticking out this side than there was on this side. And did yours do that too? Well, you know what happens as soon as I notice something. I start to wonder again. So let's investigate some more and see if we can figure out why the pencil is able to balance like this. For this part of the investigation, you're going to need a ruler. Go ahead and find a 12 inch ruler and then see if you can balance this on your finger. Hmm, I think you can. Ha ha, done. 
So where is your finger located when you balance the ruler on your finger? If your ruler is like mine, your finger should be very close to where the number six is or the middle of your ruler. And why do you think that is the balancing point for the ruler? Let's draw a model showing what you think is happening as you balance that ruler on your finger. That will help you explain your thinking to your classmates. And you can do that either in a virtual breakout room or face to face. Remember, a model is a drawing that helps you explain what you are thinking. Great models and explanations. Good job. I agree. The ruler balances in the center or right at the number six because it is even on both sides. In other words, there is a force that's pulling or pushing this ruler down onto my finger. And then the weight is even on both sides. Do you know what force is pushing or pulling this ruler onto my finger? Hmm. <laughs> yes, it is gravity. And the official definition of gravity from NASA's Science Space Place is Gravity is a force by which a planet or other body draws objects toward its center. It's time for a big idea break. Forces are pushes and pulls. Objects move when forces act upon them. Forces can be balanced or unbalanced. If the force on the ruler is unbalanced, then the ruler will fall or tilt or wobble. If the force is balanced, the ruler will remain steady on the finger. Okay, it's time to get creative with our new understanding of balanced forces by making a hanging mobile sculpture. It's easy. You're going to need string or thread or fishing line. You'll also need a ruler or a long thin stick. You can even use a wire hanger. And then you're going to need some objects to hang. You'll also need some patience. That means you're going to need to try and try again. Be persistent. Don't give up. Okay, once you've finished making your mobile, make sure you share it with friends and family. You can even take pictures of it. Explain to them how you were able to balance each object on the stick, ruler, or hanger. Uh, what were some of your challenges or struggles as you did this? And how did you persist so that you were able to figure it out? Mm. Okay, that's all the time we have today for this wonder venture. Keep looking and asking questions and wondering about the world all around you. And until I see you next time, may the force be with you. See you.